In this video, you will see authentic book club discussions of the book A Dog Called Homeless. Next, students will share how being in a book club helped them read stronger. And lastly, you'll see snapshots of some student journals taken during book clubs. Hey! Book clubs help us learn! Can you tell us your Yeah. Well, I think we should all share what we were doing. Well, um, so when I was reading, I, um, put it down some stickies, and, um, so my first one said, I think Jed, the homeless man, can, um, see the mom because it said on, uh, I think it was, like, it was close to 17. It said on 45. But it wasn't the red tablecloth or the dripping candles in the window of a piece of palace that caught my eye. Yeah. It was the red raincoat. Mom was standing by the music shop on the other side of Pizza House. She put her face close to the window and looked inside. And just then, Jed came past her. She joined him and walked alongside him. It turned into an alley side by side. So that made me think that um, the mom could see him. I mean, he could see the mom. Yeah. And, um... I think she named the dog homeless because she um, saw Jed at the same time she saw the dog. Mm -hmm. The family sort of broke apart on the mom and dog. Yeah. yeah. I, and I think the brother um, thing names um, to Callie because his mom died. Yeah. So he just wanted to make himself happy because the older siblings sort of cheat the young ones. Yeah. That's fun for them. Sunday was also sad when they were talking about um, moving. Yeah. Dad didn't even tell them. I know. And he said, like, it could have been Tuesday. And then he said, we're moving up to he here on Friday. And they're like, what? Why didn't you tell us? Mm -hmm. And yeah. I think Callie will become friends with Sam, who's the blind kid. Mm -hmm. You know what? I actually was reading that part too, and I underlined, because mm -hmm. I can write in this book. <laughs> I underlined, I've sold the house. And I said, without telling us, like just that the dad, the way he said, we can't, I can't afford to stay where we yeah. are anymore. I'm trying my best. Yeah. And what did, what did Luke say? Like, well, well why didn't you tell, tell us? Try harder. That's what you always tell me. I put a sticky note there, too. I thought that was really um, I think Callie feels good to have that dog that's real because it's like it's her first friend in a long time because she's like her friend said oh she, Callie's just ridiculous and so I think since she found out that the dog is real I think she feels good to have that dog because it's real and it could be her friend. Yeah it might help her uh, behavior because now she has like a real friend to yeah. like hang on to it. Yeah. yeah. Make her feel better since she just Why do you think homeless is in the story? Because like... I think they just want to make her feel better. Yeah, and like her mom dies and so that just makes it sort of yeah. mysterious to have like a dog that can see. And also like, and it's like she really loves the dog. I know. Um, so, um, go ahead. No, I forgot. What about <laughs> you? Do you guys have any opinions about this series? I think it's a really good book. I think it's awesome. Yeah. And I think Callie doesn't really care for Miss Brooks, who she's allowed to just sit with her color. Mm -hmm. um, because she, like, talks too much, Callie said. I just, she, like, this was her thinking. She said, I just want her to go back to that filing cabinet oh, and yeah. just keep on talking. And then the yeah, I agree with Ainsley too. That'll help her behavior. Yeah, I think I'm it sure will too. Gonna, she's gonna have another best friend. Yeah, and also is the and you get like a dog or something. It like, it, it, it makes you feel, really you feel good. better. Yeah, because Cause my dog's really old and she she doesn't hear very well. And so when we first got our new puppy, I was so happy. I know, like, and I, and I started when, acting. And when you have um, a dog, then when you're like upset, mad, then you can just go lie down with them. Mm -hmm. I, they're so fun. Yeah, my dog loves to play too. And I think the dog sort of understands how Callie feels about Miss Brooks. Miss Brooks, because the dog goes over and picks up the sunglasses and just is looking at her like, I'm gonna take you, come any closer.
so then he just runs off with them. So maybe what would make the do the book a little bit funnier if he stuck it on his snout and then oh, pushed yeah. pushed it up with his head oh, and then went like with the sunglasses. Rock. Yeah. Yeah, it was funny when Miss Brooks was trying yeah. to chase the dog. And, and she's like, Hi, Stoggy. Nice dog. Nice dog. Yeah, to try to get him. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then um, that boy, you know, that boy who's sort of yeah. like making fun mm -hmm. of her. Oh, I, don't, I, don't nice. I don't think he's making her feel I don't think he's making her feel any better. Yeah. yeah. I think if it's anything, he's making her feel even more uncomfortable. And but like the dog might help that she was like now. near the principal's office. She was like she was near the office and she had to go after she just ran outside. And so he said, What did she do this time? I think his name is Danny. That sounds yeah. about mm -hmm. right. Because I know it sounds like Danny. Yeah, it's Daniel Bird. Yeah, Daniel hmm. Bird. Can I take a look at your notes? Sure. Yeah. Let me just take a picture of what you guys are doing. I just have like so I see sticky notes. Oh, oops. Okay. Sticky notes and notes in your journal, and you have opinions and, and sticky notes. A summary. Oh, and a summary. Wow. Good. And you have sticky notes and they're organized by color. Oh, how sweet. <laughs> You have lots of things. How I about you, Messi? I have a lot of sticky notes and like it just it has all my stuff on it, like opinions. And Does that help you to have your sticky notes when you're talking? Yeah. Good. You're taking a peek at some student journals. This is a journal from the dog called Homeless, and the student is responding to the texts with her writing. Um, this student is working through a lesson, developing a theory, a mini lesson we had, and she's writing theories on the characters and using evidence from the text to support her statements. At the beginning of a book club, students are asked to design a cover to kick off their book club notes. Here's one that's illustrated and has beautiful pictures. Look at the work this student's done with her journal. On the left side, she has sticky notes and a pocket that she's created to put notes in for discussion. And on the right side, she's got divided sections where she can easily access her notes. what this student said about book clubs. I think the book club helped me because it made me think more about the book. It makes you consider different endings. If you miss a fact or detail, maybe someone in your book club might catch something you don't. It will help you understand the book better. How has being in a book club helped you be a better reader? Well, I think it's a better reader because some people like just read a book and barely understand it and just say, I'm done with this book. But like in book clubs, like the key to not like reading it is you have to read it so you can talk about it. If you don't read it, then you will be like, sorry guys, I did not read it and you don't really understand the book when you're finished with it. And so, so and being a book club really helps because they can, if you get stuck, they can help you. Yeah. And, um, hey. <laughs> <laughs> so if you get stuck, they can help you. And you, it just makes you be a better reader because, well, you have a club that helps you understand more about reading or something. And have you always agreed with the people in your group? Yeah. Well, sometimes we disagree and then we think over it and then we change our mind. Sometimes, like, I disagree or agree, but, like, if we cannot find the right answer, we read that, we go back to that page and read that page all over to get, all over together. again together. So we, like, make sure it's like, oh, I agree with that, I don't agree with that. So, so. you're using the book to go back and back up your ideas? Yeah. Awesome. What do you think about being in a book club? My favorite thing about being in a book club is, like, 
uh, viewing my friends and reading a really good book and seeing like seeing what's like a problem or like what's the like main thing about it. How has being in a book club helped you take notes as you read? Because I understand the book and stuff, so I write um, sticky notes so I can um, know the book better and then I can reveal the notes again. And then do you use your notes to help you in your book club talks? Yes. How has awesome. being in a book club help you be a better reader? Well, like in the book, some words I don't know, and um, it helps me like understand what words, what those words. Being mean. in a book club help you read your book stronger. Um, because you learn different like points of view from different people, so you get to understand the book better.